Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Um, I just wanted to share with you a really quick project. Um, I got this frame at Michael's. It still has the stickers on the back, but it's just one of those multiple density fiberboard uh, frames. They're usually like $2.99. Um, and I got this one, and I wanted to make a little something for my sister-in-law who um, will be coming over for Christmas, So, and she just got a new house. So I decided to use the new Cosmo Cricut paper that I featured in a haul. Um, I think it's called Circa 1934 or something like that. But they're really pretty papers. And um, what I did to make this frame was I took one of my favorite papers from the collection, and it's this one. And I liked it because it had all of the key colors in it. The black, the um, light sky blue, this rusty colored red. Um, the cream and I cut it to size and then I cut the hole here and I inked all the edges with black soot uh, distress ink and then I sprayed it with let me show you um, glimmer mist in gold so I don't know if you can see but like even on this flower you can see a little bit of shine or even on this little piece right here am I even in camera yeah this piece right here so I sprayed it and then I dried it with my um, heat, heat gun and then I adhered it and then um, I actually liked leaving the edges this uh, multiple density fiberboard color and all I did was ink it with a, what ink pad did I use? I think I used my color box um, cat's eye black and I just inked all the edges and I really liked the way it turned out. Um, but then, after I did that, I put a little coat over this just to keep it, you know, in good condition. And the next thing I did was I cut a one inch by maybe 18 or 20 inches long, but one inch um, wide piece of my tool. And I wrapped it kind of, I laced it just like I did on a previous video to bind a mini album. I just laced it up the side, I tied it in a knot, and then I tied another knot around it just to have some loose um, tool hanging right here, and I really like the way that that turned out. Then I used um, this flower, and I'm really excited because this is, I told you guys I've been addicted to these flowers, and this is the flower that you're also going to get in your haul. Or I mean not your haul, your giveaway. Whoever wins that giveaway got a pack of these flowers, a pack of six, and it just matched the collection really well. Um, so I did that. I took two of the Prima Rose flowers and rubbed them with some vintage photo and black soot and attached them. This is a flower from I Am Roses. and so No, I'm sorry. This is a Prima flower, the Camelot flower. And I just twisted the edges a little bit more. And then this is um, an I Am Roses black flower that I sprayed with the gold glimmer mist. Then over here, um, I used one of the book plates and I put a sticker from the collection that said you and me and then I poured after I heard it I poured glossy accents in this hole and just let it make like a shiny cover um, over it so I really like the way that that turned out then um, this is some prima bling and I added the butterfly that came with the collection and then the other half of the prima bling is coming out on this side um, I put 2011 because I want to give this to her for a photo of us next year and um, these are just little me metal pieces from um, Making Memories, and I actually got that in a rack from Tina at Dream Big Lover. I think you guys saw me use these in a different um, project, but I really like the way it turned out. Then I just took a piece of black paper. I'm sorry, I have glue all over my hands. I'm trying to get it off. Um, then I took a piece of black paper from Paper Tray Ink, just... Um, regular cardstock, and I cut it using one of my Fisker's um, edge punches in this, I don't even know what you would call this, I guess top note pattern, and then I sprayed it again with the gold um, glimmer mist. And then I used my Sizzix 3D flower dye, and I made these two flowers. How I made them was um, I cut them with my cuddle bug, and then I distressed them using black soot, and then I crumpled them up. Um, sprayed them with glimmer mist, and then 
use my heat gun to dry them and then I wrap them around a paintbrush and hot glued them together and then I put two black pearls in the middle. And then I took some of my leftover tool from this that I cut off and it was just two little pieces and I just literally stuck it in the hot glue so that it would come out the edges like this. And then here is a charm from um, Michael's and it's from the Black Lace Collection of this little bird that I have hanging down. So that's really it. I, I absolutely love this paper collection. I love the colors. It's so my style. It's vintage but yet whimsical and it just came out really good. So before I wrapped it up and put it in a gift box, I wanted to share it with you guys. Have a good night. Bye.